Hey, Doug Wallman. I'm here recording on my iPhone 15. And I'm trying to take notice of the color balance. I'm recording in 4K. I'm using the cinema mode on the native camera app. I noticed it does a pretty good job with that, except for my glasses. It doesn't handle that very well. Um, I thought it was a little baked in the color balance scheme of things. But I did take care of my white balance on that light, on that light. Might be a little strong. Doesn't need to be that lit up. But uh, let's just see how that looks and sounds. I'm using the internal mic. And you know, really, I kind of like that room sound. Not that I'll use it. I just got this from Amazon today. And here's another lovely thing is I'm pretty sure this can focus on objects way better. Not that I'm going to solely record on my iPhone. Here's another item I got from my, from my iPhone, from Amazon. This is the Gator Frameworks. It's a boom that you can clamp onto your C-stand. So I've been looking for something like this. That's pretty awesome. Really, I'm more in it for uh, seeing how this sounds, seeing if I can get the video dialed in. I do have the uh, video app called Moment or Moments. And if I don't like the white color on this, or white color, the white balance on this video, I can change it in the next scene. I'll use the Moment app and we can dial in the white balance that way. It might be kind of a way to natively do it. Like uh, there's a feature called locking in your white balance and I think you have to focus on something but I don't want to have to do that. I don't think the Moment app has the uh, the aperture, the f-stop change, but I don't think that actually works that well when I'm wearing glasses. It is kind of via software. It tr I think it tries to figure out stuff and it, it might get a few things wrong. But I, other than that, other than these glasses, I think it does pretty good on my bricks back there. My fake bricks look all nice and blurred, bokeh or whatever. The shallow depth of field, I kind of do like that, but I may have to give that up uh, in the next clip because the uh, moments doesn't have that. So this is 2800K. Really, one of my issues is I wish I could do something like this. And I think you can if you get a Bluetooth version of this or maybe a voice command or something, but I have to go around and activate it. Yeah. Anyhow, 2800K, let's see how that looks. And we will adjust accordingly. I could do it in post too. Uh, my camera, I just use Expo Disc and do a custom white balance, but I don't even know what number that came up with on a Kelvin scale. It just took care of it for me. And you can't use Expo, Expo Disc on a iPhone. Or an Android. So here is 2600K. Let's see how that looks. It's probably gonna be a little purplish. We'll see. Of course those lights are creating that, but yeah. Test one, two. I've always ignored the fact that this mic sounded the best with my voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I have the other Octava. This is an Octava MK316. I do believe it's orientated that way. It's not that way, is it? Test one, two, test one, two. Test two, test one, two, three. How does that sound? I didn't see a place on there to adjust the level but you could monitor the level of course i didn't look real deep so i turned it down from this lm2c um because it wasn't clipping over there test one <laughs> yeah anywho let's see how that sounds testing one two three the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog So I changed it to 2800K. Did 
Did I go down to 2600? Yes, it's back to 2800K. So this is what it sounds like using this mic. On the app, I had seen the monitor control. I thought there would be a slider to adjust the level from there, but I didn't really see it at a quick glance, so I just adjusted it from here. Because on my art voice channel, it doesn't seem to be clipping. So... All right, so I did see the little slider on the app. So I turned this back full open and I just adjusted it with the slider on the app. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. So, but there's no way to adjust such a thing on the native apps. And I was gonna go back to that, but. All right, yeah, testing one, two, three, so yeah. I've kind of ignored the fact that this Octava MK319 actually sounds pretty good with my voice as compared to the Octava uh, MK012. I just realized these both have MKs at the beginning part of their name format. Did I just realize that or not? I don't know. This sounds pretty good in some certain way, picking up my lows. I noticed it's pretty low, even when it's not in proximity. Whereas this one kind of picks up more in my highs or upper mids, perhaps. Anyway, see how that sounds? The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. It's not like my first microphone check with this mic, but I have it connected to my iPhone. Wow, that's kind of different. I like it though. I do kind of miss the aperture though, where I could have a shallow depth of field, but I can take care of my color balance or I could just do it in post. But even if I had the shallow depth of field reinstated, my glasses kind of messed that up, but I guess I could just take them off. Testing one, two, three. Now that I have the level dialed in, I could go back to the other, the. Uh, camera the native camera but I don't know I kind of like this too see how it sounds see how it looks just kind of experimenting <laughs> I turned down the gain a little bit on the slider on the app and I noticed my beard looked kind of purple so I changed it to 3000 K on the Kelvin scale and my voice is kind of I'm kind of thirsty or something, huh? Um, let's see how that looks and sounds. Just experimenting. All right, this would make, in some ways, for an easier way to do YouTube, but I'm so used to the other way. This is actually more work for me now. Now, if I was doing overhead shots, that would get in focus. That would get in focus way easier, like I mentioned before. You do have to hold it up there for a second. A lot of times I just go, but let's just see how this all works out. So I'm back to the native app. First time I've used my microphone like this, going directly into the camera on the native camera app. I'm using cinema, lowest F stop, not putting on my glasses because it does funky things with my glasses. Maybe I can adjust the uh, Kelvin scale or the white color balance in post-production, see how that looks. And just won't wear my glasses if I want this kind of effect. Hmm. See if it works. But with that, I need to do another video wishing you a happy new year. But if not, if I don't get around to it, because I've <laughs> been all messing around with technology. Happy New Year, and God bless you richly. I did notice that if I look straight on into the camera and don't turn my head, then it handles my glasses a little better.
but uh, maybe there'll be an update in the software. But for most things, it would actually work pretty good. It's just my glasses. It's even worse on wire rim glasses, um, I think, because I borrowed a pair of those just for a little bit. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I went past the uh, point of expiration on uh, your attention span, probably, and mine as well. <laughs> All right. One more quick test is uh, me installing this Frameworks, Gator Frameworks 16-inch mini boom clamp stand attachments. I attach it to my C-stand up there. C-stand is out of frame. This, of course, you can see hanging down. Does that look better than this desktop stand, which is also from Frameworks? Try not to bump the microphone. I think each can have its place, but now I have options if I want to hang it like this or have it mounted on my desk or resting on my desk. I have I turned off my fridge. I'm thinking of noises and stuff. This hard drive makes a little bit of a noise. My neighbor makes a little bit of a noise. Let's turn on my fridge real quick just to see if that picks it up a lot or not. I'm always bumping my chair when I go back to it. Can you hear that? I'm just doing all kinds of testing. Well, I think it's enough testing for the night. Once again, Happy New Year. Thanks for hanging out with me. Messing around with technology that's fairly new is kind of exciting. I didn't immediately jump to this when I got my iPhone, uh, but I knew I'd probably slowly develop an interest in trying to incorporate this into my YouTube channel. Hope you enjoyed. God bless you. And uh, one other thing. I know there's also the... Uh, what do you call it? ProRes? I haven't got into that yet, but probably no need just yet. I can barely handle this 4K stuff right now. I noticed also when I went to import my videos, it wants to process the videos if they're in that cinematic mode. It didn't take too long, but I did notice it took maybe a little longer than I'd want if I was in a hurry. Anywho, it wasn't a big deal. I haven't got to importing it actually yet anyway. But I'm about to do that next just to see how it goes. All right. Thank you for watching for like the third or fourth or fifth time. I really do appreciate it. And for the third or fourth time, Happy New Year. 220, 2024 is going to be what you make, but God's going to help you with that. It's not going to stand by and watch you suffer. We, we need to take that firm stand of faith that God is for us, not against us. It's just a matter of believing. I've encountered some real-life circumstances, but I'm not here to preach at this moment right now, perhaps or ever, but I don't want to say that. But If I have something to say from my heart, I will say it, but I try to keep my channel somewhat neutral. But of course... If you've watched it, it really isn't totally neutral, but I do have a heart that wants to uh, do things a little differently than most people would do it, and hope you can see that and appreciate that. All right, that's all for now. Thank you. Guys, I couldn't be a little bit curious what would happen if I put the camera or sorry, the microphone a little bit out of frame. Now I moved it down. I don't know. It could be a little bit in frame now. <clears throat> like if it was mounted up there where you can't see it, does it still sound pretty good? Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. We do have to end the video though. So I'm sorry for carrying on like this, creating false hopes that I'll stop talking which isn't usually a problem for me. I have a hard time getting started. 
For some reason, in the case of YouTube, I just want to talk. Would it be better if it was like above my head? More or less. I don't want that seat stand to fall over, I tell you that. It's about ready to. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. So it's not centered the way it needs to be right now. We'll move it back. We want the leg. Probably need a sandbag for this so that the weight is a little nicer on that. Got a few things on there. Well, really only the mic and a light. And then sometimes I have a camera on there, but I took the ball head off. I tried using the ball head on here, which I do have the adapter to make that work, using your mic stand as a camera a tripod almost. One of these things. I really should be going. It's getting past my bedtime, but it's New Year's, so maybe that's why I'm up. What about you? What are you up doing? Can't stop doing it. All right, enough of videos. I can't I can't keep doing this, guys. Happy New Year.